In the previous unit, we ran a hay crash simulation and as a result of that, this plan was populated. So we did not give any name to our plan. So right now, by default, it is named as plan 01. In case if you gave a name as steady flow or something else, you will see that ID or name here. Since I did not give any ID or name, I just see plan 01. Now there are multiple ways by which we can view the results. So I will just show you few and then we will do the flood inundation mapping. So the first thing is you can go back to geometry editor and look at the cross sections and you will see that now we have water level in each cross section. So if you change that, you will see the water level in each cross section. And by default, it is showing us for PF1. So by default, you will see the water profile for PF1. If you want to look at the water elevation or water depth for another profile, you can go to plot options and then you can pick profiles. So right now it is PF1. If you want to see all three, you can select those using the shift key and then say OK. And then you will see the water elevation for PF2 and PF3. So you can do that for all cross sections. So you will get the cross sectional view. That is one way to look at the results. So you can do the same by using this view cross section instead of going to geometry editor. The other way is to look at the profile, generate profile plot, and you will see the water surface profile for each reach. So in this case, we are looking at typical new tributary. If you want to look at a different reach, you can pick that and unselect the other one, or you can look at the profile view of all three reaches and all three profiles. So if you want to look at just one profile and one reach, you can do that here. The other is just the water profile. So you see the water profile for one reach and one profile. So in this case, we are looking at typical new tributary profile three, two, one. Similarly, you can change the reach and see that, okay? So the Wabash lower reach has a bridge, which is what you see here in the line here. So that's another way to look at the results. And then you can also look at the 3D view. And you can use this button here, change the angle. And right now we are just looking at one if you want, you can go to options, reaches. So right now we have typical tributaries. We can do all, okay. And then you will see this, okay. So right now, again, we are just seeing PF1. If you want, go to options, profiles, and pick any profile that you want. So I cleared everything. Let's say you want to see this for profile three and okay and you will see the highest. So you can see the bridge here in in three dimension. So this interface is not very intuitive so you have to play with this scroll buttons to change the angle and look at the profile in 3D. So this is a basic visualization in HECRAS. Now to look at the flood inundation, we will go to RAS Mapper. So you click on RAS Mapper. And this is what we have seen before. So to the re see the results, you click on results and we gave a name plan 01 or we did not give a name. So by default, it was plan 01. So if you click on that, and the depth profile, you will see the water depth. So this is for PF1. So if you want to look at inundation for a different profile, you can click on plan 01, right click, add new results map layer. So here you can see we have PF2, PF3. So if you say PF3 add map, 
and that is added so this is pf3 so higher depth you will see darker blue color you if you want you can do the same for pf2 add so uncheck pf3 and you will see pf2 okay so this is how you can see the inundation from the profiles that we provided you can also look at the velocity map so right now we did not use velocity distribution so we have one velocity value for each cross section so that's why the velocity looks very uniform across the channel so we saw the depth we saw velocity you can also see the water surface elevation so you can see three types of results velocity map water surface elevation map depth map so this is how you can view results and map flood inundation extent in HECRAS and this is it for this unit go ahead and save your RAS mapper save your RAS project and this completes this module